Hello everybody, welcome to What Culture Gaming, I'm Scott. Now, usually this slot will be reserved for, you know, having a bit of talk about whatever the latest news is. And you can check out some stuff on the PS5 rumours, or what's happening with Google's console, or whatever, in our backlog. But, I wanted to take this time to talk about something different, which is one of Ubisoft's most treasured franchises, Splinter Cell. And just where the hell is it? Because we haven't seen a new Splinter Cell since 2013 Splinter Cell Blacklist, though it is one of the most recognizable and notable and talked about franchises in Ubisoft history. The reason I'm focusing on this is because, <laughs> yeah, there's just nothing in the pipeline. Although if you have a cursory Google for Watch Dogs, it seems that one of the endings that was patched into Watch Dogs 2 actually hints at the game going to London. And it seems like we're getting a Watch Dogs 3, even though Watch Dogs 2 sold terribly and the general sort of feel around that franchise isn't very positive. Watch Dogs 2's sales were down by about 80% in comparison to the first one. And although I actually reviewed the game fairly well, it does play quite well. It's a pretty nice open world game with a whole bunch of different experimentation in regards to the ways that you can complete missions. Basically, Watch Dogs is never going to be the premier franchise that Ubisoft needed to be. You can kind of assume that it was initially going to be the pivot from Assassin's Creed to Watch Dogs. It's, you know, it's set in the modern day and a lot of the gameplay tropes carry over from Assassin's Creed in terms of the, the parkour style exploration, the whole open world peppering the map with a whole bunch of objectives and things to do. Obviously that isn't the way that it's gone and what kind of franchise could be one of Ubisoft's biggest sellers? Well, Splinter Cell. Now, Blacklist back in 2013 underperformed. It still sold around 2 million copies, but it wasn't anywhere near the heights of the franchise back when the likes of Pandora Tomorrow or Chaos Theory or whatever were doing their rounds. And that's mainly because Ubisoft decided to swap out Michael Ironside, i.e. the guy that was to Splinter Cell what David Hayter was to Metal Gear, for this guy called Eric Johnson. Now, he was... I don't even know who this guy is. He came from TV and some people like him, but he wasn't Michael Ironside. And a lot of people took one look at those early trailers that showed a whole bunch of action and the fact that Ironside wasn't there and went, you know what? It's not for me. And that was completely fair, although the reality of Blacklist is a damn good stealth game. Now you might say that the stealth genre is a little bit outdated and maybe the genre had its heyday towards the late 2000s, but I would also point you in the direction of Metal Gear Solid V. Um, that was one of the most successful stealth action games Ever. I mean, just look at the sales totals. Can even Konami didn't expect it to do that well. And it's high time that Splinter Cell made a return. Basically, what this comes down to is trying to get a conversation going in the comments. I want you guys to have a bit debate as to whether you think Watch Dogs has a future or whether something like Splinter Cell, you know, it's time for it to make a return. I kind of think that it is. And I think that Ubisoft could do a damn good job if you just imagine, you know, at E3, it's their conference, the lights go down, we hear this sound effect, and then the three goggles just fade in from black. You have to have some sort of line for Michael Ironside announcing his return or whatever, but all those ingredients coming together would be one hell of a giant PR burst and it would be something for a lot of fans to rally behind. Ubisoft, what you need to do is stop trying with Watch Dogs and just go back into your back catalogue and put the sort of effort that you're putting into things like For Honor and The Division and Ghost Recon Wildlands, put all those resources back into Splinter Cell and make this the grand return of one of the best stealth franchises of all time. Either way, you can let me know what you think down in the comments. Should Ubisoft continue with something like Watch Dogs or should they put more stock into Splinter Cell? Regardless, I've been Scott from OurCulture.com and I'll catch you soon. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe below. And if you're looking for more content like this, then try a few things that are floating about around my ears. It might be fun. I can't promise it though. But it might be.